Hi, welcome to Ukenic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find out which ABS wheel speed sensor is defective or is not sending a signal or reading the speed of that wheel. So if you have ABS light on, if your car has traction control, stability control, and all those other systems, they all depend on getting input from the ABS wheel speed sensors. So if one of them goes bad, then you're going to have uh, several warning lights that come on in your instrument cluster. So I'm going to show you how to find out what's going on so go to diagnostics and then you want to select your make and model whatever that is uh, you still need to um, the easiest thing would be to do smart VIN and that will pick it up for you and then press OK and press left for left hand steering if that's the case and then what you want to do here you can run a quick scan that is another good way to uh, take a look at the whole car and see what's going on. If you got uh, ABS traction control or just a bunch of warnings on the instrument cluster, you're gonna have uh, several control units here that have fault codes in them. So th these cars today are, are gonna have 30, 40. This vehicle specifically has 50 different control units. Some of them are gonna have codes that indicate what is wrong. But let's go back. So instead of doing the full system scan, we're gonna to go to the control module that we know uh, is responsible for running the ABS. In this car, it's called RBS, but a lot of times it's gonna call it's gonna be called ABS, the most common one. It depends on the make and the model. Sometimes it's called ESP, or uh, sometimes it might be called stability control. So it varies, and if you're not sure, when you go back to the quick scan, you will see the module that has the fault codes there. But let's go to RBS because we know that's what it's called in this case. And then here you can read the codes. If there's any codes they're gonna show here, and um, and then you can see it'll tell you like front left, front right, uh, ABS wheel speed sensor, things of that nature. And then you can clear codes, but only if they're in store status. If you got any codes that got current, you can clear it. But let's find out which the data of this each one of the ABS wheel speed sensor. So under the, your main uh, control unit that's controlling the ABS, you go to live data, and then you go to RPM sensors, and then you can see uh, each one of the wheel speed sensors here, and you should see the units, the speed on there on the right, and now that is in kilometers per hour, but you get the idea as you drive, especially as you drive on a straight line, you, you should see those numbers change all at the same time, and as, as you move uh, forward, they're gonna change again. So if you have one, if you're driving and then you have one of these that is not changing, then you know which one is defective. But again, that should also show under, when you read the codes, it should also tell you which one is defective. Now keep in mind, if you have a sensor that's not reading correctly, most of the time it's gonna be the sensor itself, but check those wires going to the sensor. It's pretty common for uh, ABS wheel speed sensors to have wires that are cut or damaged, you know, when uh, maybe during an accident or some, some work that was done at that axle. Um, so keep that in mind too. And in some very rare cases, the problem itself, even though it's pointing to a bad ABS wheel speed sensor, the problem can be the ABS control unit itself, which um, it's very rare, but it, it is it can happen. So if you do replace the ABS wheel speed sensor and you still have an issue, check the wires and if that's still not the case then you're looking at uh, at the ABS control module itself thank you for watching you can or you can be the mechanic